Yo guys, what up me, Patrick LeVar, back again with another video. If you guys not seen the new Daniel Shepard video, he does this really cool product video where he films it in front of a green screen and then he has it basically like animate into this beach scene. Definitely check the link. Uh, I'll post a card somewhere so you guys can take a look. Or if you're watching this on Instagram, jump on the YouTube and check out his newest video. So it, I was watching this and I was wondering, could I do this all on my cell phone? So. There's a green screen up there. I gave it a try, guys. I shot the footage. I ended up using my camera really fast to shoot the footage just because I, I was running out of time and I didn't have time and I was using my cell phone to catch B-roll. But there's no reason why you can't just film your product or whatever your subject is in front of a green screen to do the same thing. But the main thing is I'm gonna show you how you can do all the green screen stuff and animation all on your cell phone using some free apps. So enough of my jibber jabber, let's get straight into it. Oh, and blah, 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 back just up a minute. This whole video sponsored is by the guys from down from Amir Fact. They sent out their new microphone, which I actually have plugged in at the moment. Listen to the sound quality because when I switched to the next scene, I forgot to plug the microphone back in. So the next scene, it won't have any of the microphone sound on there. So you'll be able to hear the difference. I'll have a link down in the description. It is the subject of this video. You'll see uh, it, the little mo animation that I made with it. So let's get back into the video. All right, so I'm gonna quickly jump into the app here. Geo, uh, G, GM, Memo, Mim, Mimi, Mimi, whatever it is here. It's a free app that I'm using to do the chroma key here. What I'm gonna do is choose make chroma key. I'm gonna bring in my own footage. Here's the footage that I shot. Select that, go ahead and load that in. Select the eyedropper, boom, click on that. And then I'll select the second button here, which just selects different shades and then boom, uh, it doesn't let me click it while I'm screen recording. Let me pause the recording, guys. All right, the, for some reason, while I'm screen recording, I cannot press that button right there for some reason with the overlay. But then you tap this big button here in the center, and now it's going to render it. So basically, it took our green screen, it made it almost all pure green. Like, you can see there's some noise in here. Again, this is just the limitations of doing it on an app, guys. So, you know, I probably could increase the strength a little bit, but it starts to cut into the image. So, by, bear in mind, we're doing it on a cell phone, okay? There is gonna be some limitations. So now that I got this here, now what it did is it automatically saved another one. So from here, all I'll do is close out of this now because I just basically wanted to get a nice, more cleaner chroma key. I jump into cap cut, and then in cap cut, what I'm going to do is the chrome, I'm actually gonna chroma key it out and get the transparent background. So first what I'm gonna do, you wanna have your background ready. So I'm gonna go in, jump in here. I just made this quick little random background here in uh, in uh, Canvia. Again, I can't press the button, let me pause this. Alrighty, I figured out, I think my little logo there was in the way, whatever. So now that we're back inside, here's the background. I just quickly made this, it doesn't really, it's, not, it's just a, for an example, it's more of as a placeholder. So quickly then I'll go to overlays, add overlay, go back to my video and where is the video that we just made? Here it is, video. So here it is. Now you can see we got a nice pure green area. Which, okay, let's go ahead and drop that in. And what I'm gonna basically do now here is just kind of size it up. We want something like that. And let's crop it to get rid of all the unnecessary stuff we don't need. I'll just drop it in, jump in, grab a mask. I'll grab a rectangle mask. Okay, and then again, uh, that's the feathering. We don't need that at the moment. Just kind of stretch it up, kind of pull it out. And then I'm gonna kind of just trim it so the bottom there is cut off there. So let's make sure it stays, everything is in the view and in the shot. All right, and let's quickly here delete this. We don't need that. Let's stretch out our background layer to the length of the video, something like that. Okay, now we'll come in here and we're gonna chroma key it out. Let me make sure I'm recording. Up, 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 up. Make sure we're recording. Yes, we are recording. Good. <laughs> uh, so now click on this, jump in here, grab the chroma key, and now you see, boom, that's what we want. Go to intensity and bada bing. Look at that. Just clean that up. Crank it as far as you want. Now, again, you don't want to make sure. See, we're getting some jagged edges because it's kind of like cranked up too high. So what I kind of do is just, you got to find a happy medium. You don't want that green edge there. So you want to get rid of as much as that green edge as possible, but also not chewing it up too much. And this shadow, I don't really never see the difference. So anyways, let's just turn it up. So good. All right. So now we've got this, right? 
we've got our image chroma keyed out and you can still see I got some a little bit of edging here so let me probably see if we can crank that up a little bit more oh, oh, we don't want to add another overlay back here chroma key intensity let's crank it up a little bit like 90 all right that's a little better okay again we're at the limitations of this doing this on a cell phone but it's fantastic that we're able to do this on a cell phone okay so now what i'm going to do just add a cool little animation in here let's put it in its final resting position stretch that out just a tad bit okay and i want to get it up undo that click on that i want to put this kind of like let's say here and kind of something like that that'll be our final resting position so let's get to the end of our timeline and i'm going to drop a keyframe there then i'm going to zoom all the way to the beginning oh man it's kind of hang on hang on hang on let's go back to our keyframe i didn't realize it was so far off let's make sure we stay in, i want to kind of stay in the box okay that's working here's our beginning position now what i'm going to do here is just shrink it down and let's just rotate it just something crazy right rotate it down so now what we'll have is like boom it's kind of like flying into position here if you guys watched the daniel schiffer video you'll see he basically did the same kind of things he reduced the, the scale and the rotation so now we kind of have it just flying in look at that that is super cool right okay now what i actually did too to add a little bit of more coolness to this was i clicked on here right and went to speed curves and let's just do a speed ramp exactly what he also did a flash in right we want it to kind of flash in i'm gonna click in here and go to edit i'm gonna take this crank it up so it's kind of kind of like yeah, let's kind of crank that up too so it's going to come in speeding in like shoo 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 boom and then slow down it's kind of going to stretch that i'll make it a little bit more slow pew shoo and then slow down into its final resting position and boom good so and then hit okay there nice and the curve we want that curve good and then what i kind of tried to do here was once it got to on my final position right uh i went in here backed out it worked sometimes and sometimes it didn't work it kind of changed i went to freeze see and now it's yeah it's not working last time it freezed the position where exactly where it was and i don't know why it's doing that now it's changing so kind of hit or miss but I had it freeze in position then I was able to kind of hold there you know and if you want to add some text but whatever it's not doing it now it, it was hit or miss and only out of the four times I tried it, it only did it two times so 50% chance so what I'll go do here is go ahead and slice that go ahead and peel that off so what I would do here now let's go ahead and export this out and then I'm gonna show you guys how we can do some write on text in the next app here okay I'm gonna export this out And guys, I just totally realized like this, this, the sponsor of this video is uh, the Mirfac microphone here, which is actually made by the company. I think Moza makes this microphone. But anyways, the whole beginning of the video, I didn't even have it plugged in. Right now, the mic is actually plugged in and it's a fantastic little microphone here. Again, I have it hooked up to my cell phone. Uh, it works on my small mirrorless camera, but um, sound is important, guys. To I mean, just now listen to the quality of this compared to, I mean, before. Matter of fact, let me just pause it really quick and show you the difference. Okay, so this is without the microphone plugged in right here. No, it's, it's unplugged here. And here's the little microphone here super fantastic little mic it's small compact uh and one thing let me plug it back in here let's get the sound back boom just like that sound is important guys i'll have the link in the description down for this microphone here take a look at it uh again this model is the n2 model they're coming out with a whole bunch of little, uh some nice little microphones and i am actually quite surprised at the quality of this microphone i used it when i was out in uh filming in the forest and like i was like amazed at the sound between the two microphones uh, that i was using this one was really fantastic but quickly now I want to show you how we add that text to it if you really want to do some like movement text this is another free app that i've been using pixel flow there is a watermark on the bottom but if you want to pay for it to remove it you can also do that but i really don't care these days so i'm going to jump in here we click raw right raw is going to let me kill this camera we don't need this camera anymore uh camera bye bye 
So here's some templates for the text, right? You can click on one here and it'll show you the quick little animation. Look at that. That's really clean, real clean, simple designs here. I love this, man. Look at that. Bing. Right. So let me quickly just show a really simple one here for our design since we're already in the middle minimal design. And here it was with the text. So basically, I will go in here and, you know, you'll type in your text. We'll just say, you know, new mic. OK, new mic. Uh, my state. There we go. And then we'll have down here like the name. Uh, what is this here? And it was a mere uh, mere fa mere fact or something. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. M A K, right? Uh, M A K. There it is. And then let's go in four. Or I think it's in two is the model number. All right, boom. So we got that here. Check it out. Now, um, I don't like this here. I want to change the color of this. I can just change it to black like that boom and close that so we have that and then the text since uh, now our background first of all let's add our background in here so we go to background here and then you can add some they got some preset stuff here but we're gonna go to video and load from internal storage no that wasn't that. yeah it was this one okay right so here we have our template here's our mic popping in so let me go back to the foreground and now we can see our, our text is why actually that wouldn't be bad to have it pop up more well, the mic doesn't move so let me just keep it clean and simple jump in here text color change it to black boom cold that's down jump in here text color change it to black right okay boom 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 now if i hit play shoo, shoo, boom new mic mirror back in two now let's move the position here so if i could drag this here and i can drag this here we can let's drag it something like right around down here you can scale it up with the top one but i like the scale where it's at let's press play boom boom that kind of pops in and then we have the microphone which is kind of rolling in there fantastic again if you want to get rid of the watermark you have to pay i think it's like uh you can use this for three months uh whatever i don't know i'm just using the free version guys so it doesn't really bother me. So that's how we can add the cool little text effect on here. Let me go ahead and export this out here. And again, I want to do it at HD in this case. Boom, boom, boom. Let it do its thing. And then boom, we got our little animation here. Uh, again, guys, just simple little things here that we can do on the phone. Uh, it took me a while to figure it out, but it's, it's feasible. You can do a Daniel Shepard style little product floating in, green screening and all all on your cell phone you know you just got to grind it grind it out and figure out how to do this stuff so i grinded it out for you so hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video here smash the like button share this video out to people who might be interested in something like this you know you know and consider hitting that subscribe button a lot of my i noticed a lot of my followers 73 percent of my followers are not subscribed join the family guys i got a discord server where you can share all of our love and all that jibba jabba and just have a good time anyways patrick lavar keep filming Take care of each other. Stay safe. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.